Xavier, we're here in Cannes for the TFWA World Exhibition 2023, and I'm talking to you a few hours in advance of a very big announcement by the group. Tell us all about it. Well, first of all, as always, Martin, thank you very much for, for your interest on us. Yes, it's another very exciting day on the long history of our group. As everybody knows, we combine our business, Dufri, with the business of Autogrill. And today, we are announcing the new name. We've been working for months on the new name because for us, it's not just a word. It's something that encapsulates a new company. We are now a leading company in travel retail, but also on travel food and beverage with a very strong focus on consumer, on digital, and on our stores. And all thanks to our people. And we want our people to feel as part of one single company and one single team. And for that, we need a name that embraces all what we do and all the people we have in the group. So you're going to tell me the name now, the big, the big reveal. You're speaking tonight. Of course, we're filming this earlier in the day, but you're speaking tonight to your business partners all around the globe on a seminal day, I would say, for what was the former Do Free. So tell us all about it. As I told you recently in your fabulous FAP in Bangkok, somehow you have articulated the existence of the industry. So yes, I'm going to tell you everything before anybody else knows. Um, it's three key elements for me that are around the new name um, and the new image. It's on one side the color. We finally living after many years the red, which was the color, interestingly enough, of Dufri, but also Photogrill. And we go to a softer color, a more modern color, a more inclusive color, which is the purple. We have a new name, but that name cannot be fully understood without the logo. And the logo, and it's going to be seen in your website also, but it's also here. It's a logo that embraces the world. Because we are a company that we are global, but we want also to be brave. We want to be collaborative, but we also want to be passionate about everything we do. And all that is this new logo and this new name, which is Avolta. Avolta. Avolta is born, ladies and gentlemen. Well, tell us about the name. Tell us about the derivation. Tell us about uh, why you've embraced it. What do you think it stands for? Avolta, we believe it's a very strong name. It's a global name because it can be pronounced in almost any language of the world and in the same way. It also stands in many Latin languages for uh, fly. Vol, it's also uh, flying, mm. which is in the heart of what we do, not only because of our business, but because also we want to fly high. It's also around in some other languages, it means spinning or a spin. So going around, which I think goes very well with what our business is, people going around the world. Um, also, Volt is energy. So we think it's a name that is new, it's cool, it sounds well, and encapsulated all what we stand for. Together with the logo and the color, I think they are a very powerful image that wants to make clear we are more than Dufri and Otto Grill. We are something new, something that is based on those two strong heritage, but it's much more than that. Yeah, as we're speaking a few hours in advance, of course, of the great reveal, this is a seminal day in your group's history, is it not? You've had this convergence of channels from food and beverage to duty-free and general retail, all coming together and now under a new umbrella name. Pretty exciting day personally, I would say. Personally, for sure, but I think, um, and you heard me saying that, managing a company is always about the people. It's always about the team. 
And I think the new name is just the culmination of a very lengthy process of integrating two philosophies of business, two groups of people in one. And today we work and hopefully we think as one group of people with one target. We are truly believing that we are a team. And a Volta is the symbol of that one team approach. And a Volta is very much centered on the traveler. You've told me many times, Javier, that you need to focus on the consumer. A perhaps less tradesy approach in the past, a much more consumer approach. You spoke about that at FAB very well. And this name seems to cover all those bases. Look, as an industry, not only as a Volta, we need to remember that everything starts and finishes on the traveler. Everybody, operators, landlords, brands, partners, we all have an industry thanks to the traveler. And we love all the travelers. We like the silent generation, we like the baby boomers, and we like the Ys and the Zs and the X. But we need to understand that there is an evolution. And wherever that evolution goes, we have to be there. And that can only be if we keep focusing on the travelers, on the consumers, understanding what they want, understanding what they need. And not only what, how, people today is consuming in a different way than before. Digital engagement is absolutely fundamental. The combination of digital and physical stores, and for stores I mean both shops and restaurants and uh, F&B outlets, it needs to be done in a different way. Consumer centricity is today at the basis of 100% what Avolta is doing. Yeah. So sum up, Avolta for me, this landmark day for the company, for a very established company on the one hand with Dufri and of course with Autogru, HMS Host, all these great institutions of the travel retail industry all coming together and now under a common umbrella. Just sum up for me the excitement you feel about that. Look, I think today every member of the teams of the group is not anymore coming from one part of the group. I, we had a management meeting last week and I said, today is the first day in our job for all of us. We all start today in a Volta. A Volta is for all of us, from all of us, it's us. Said that, we of course are building on the strong heritage of everything that we have done well and we're doing well. So the rest of the brands of the group will remain when makes sense, but we are all now members of one big family, one big team that is a Volta. So very exciting, I hope it goes well. I'm sure it will go well and it, it must be an exciting day for the team worldwide. You know, this was, a, this was a big convergence of different channels. You don't really see them as distinct channels though, do you? You see a commonality about serving the, the traveling consumer. Absolutely. I don't think it's the right way to organize your business on the way you think. You need to organize your business on the way your customer thinks. So our customers don't want one category. They want something they need. They have a limited dwell time. And that's something, it could mean some gifting that you could find in a duty-free store, but it could be some travel essentials and it could be a coffee or a sandwich they need in a restaurant. And it's the same people. We need to organize our business this way. For that, we believe you need to be able to combine the different businesses. You need to have the know-how on duty-free, duty-paid, and F&B. And only then you can be really of service to the consumers. And that's why we believe it's not three industries. It's one industry around the traveler. We call it travel experience. Happy if somebody has a better name, but it's about the traveler. Our industry is the travel, not the metier, as the French say, 
that we do, is the traveller. So we have exciting days in business, we have big days in business. We don't often oversee the rebranding of a company and a powerhouse company in this case. How personally exciting is it for you? Well, it's a big responsibility because I really want the name, the logo, the color to appeal to everybody that is in the group. I want it to appeal also to our partners. I want the brands and the landlords to also feel excited about it as a recognition that we are different. We are different from ourselves before the combination and we are different from the rest of the industry. I'm not saying better or worse, I'm just saying different. We stand for something different. So it's very exciting to finally have something that encapsulates that difference and that uh, is very exciting. We don't often get a new name in our industry, but we have one today, a Volta. Very exciting for you, as you've just said. Emotions running high today? Absolutely. We've been working a very big group for almost a year now. Um, it's not easy to find a name nowadays. Everything has been somehow taken. And to finally find a name and find an image and a logo that really represents what you are and even more importantly, what you aspire to be, this is tremendously difficult. And I think we got it. The few people that knows about it, they are very excited. So I hope the entire industry uh, will also be very excited about it. So Xavier, good luck going forward with a Volta journey on. Thank you very much, journey on. <laughs>